no kids. What's better? This is Showbiz the Adult. All right, man. So, um, a couple months ago, um, I received a request from my show business partner, Farmer with a Shotgun. Look, salute to you. Uh, he wanted me to do a reaction to a Steve Willis stand up. Now, here's the thing I have to admit. All right, uh, Steve Willis is my favorite figure in boxing. Okay, period. Uh, you guys know that. He's one of my first... I, the Steve Willis video is one of my first videos I've ever done on this channel. Alright, so... But I must admit, I was looking up Steve Willis a couple years ago. I came across this video, and I'm like, that's not Steve Willis. That's not a referee. He doesn't have a bow tie. So I, I just pushed it. I never really checked it out. Okay, even after I heard that he did some stand-up, I never really checked it out. Okay, so I'm going to do a reaction. Um, I think I've seen a portion of I can't really remember, all right? Um, so I'm going to do a reaction to the stand-up by Steve Willis. If it isn't funny, it's still probably funny. Um, yeah, but I did ask for his permission. You know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm like Steve Willis. I'm about to do this thing, so 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 so. And you know, Steve Willis, he like do this shit. I don't get. I don't give a <laughs> break. <laughs> so let me. Oh, without further ado, uh, let, let me go ahead and uh and do this, Steve Willis. The first thing that pops up is my video. Hold on. Uh, here we go. Stand up in New York. This is it. 11 years ago. All right. Let's see what we got. Got the whole brick wall. Look. <laughs> Damn, they laughing already. That <laughs> is Steve. How you doing? What's up, brother? Got that fucking hat on. You didn't think he was gonna fucking hide on that, did you? <laughs> yeah. Everybody in a good mood? Yeah. You look like a civil rights activist. Nice. Uh, I'm a little uptight. <laughs> my sister called me the other day to tell me that uh, my 14 year old niece, beautiful girl, love this girl, she's developed a new heart. 14 years old, she's developed a new hobby. I said, well, what's she doing? Dance? Cheerleading? What's she doing? She said, no, nah, man. She sucks dick down. <laughs> what? What? What do you say to the kid when you see her after that kind of shit? So listen, can I discuss this hobby thing with you? She said, yeah, I know, Uncle Steve. Practice safe sex, use condoms. I says, no. I mean, uh, make sure the dude washes his nuts before you fucking blow it. What? Is this Steve? Am I getting But uh, I get in trouble for saying shit like that. What? It's like I got in trouble today because uh, I called this woman's son a retard. fucking kid was a retard. <laughs> he was laying on the floor making noise. I stood there for 15 minutes waiting for somebody to beat his ass. <laughs> Finally, I couldn't take anymore. I said, you little retarded bastard. Wipe your mouth, get the fuck off the floor and get out of here. His mother looked at me and said, thank you. But, um, you know, I think about a lot of weird shit. And uh, I always wonder, like, when you die and go to heaven, do you show up in the same condition that you left? It's like James Brown just died. Oh. Put him in a purple suit. Uh -huh. Dropped his ass in the casket. Uh -huh. You know, 
St. Peter, Mr. James, come through. But what do you say to the guy that was in Popeye's uptown, got shot in the face, eating a piece of chicken? <laughs> what? Is that mild or spicy? <laughs> what is going on? I mean, what do you think the devil and Saddam talked about when he showed up? <laughs> said, Saddam, got that double-breasted Brooks Brothers coat on? You know, your new nickname is Necktie, but, uh... <laughs> that's hell for you, bro. This is dark, man. What? So, but what do you think they talked about? Sazam, um, you're working on the sixth floor. When you see Edie on me, give him a break. But, uh, say, man, did you shit on yourself on the way down here? <laughs> Damn, that was quick. That light's on quick. Damn. Oh, it's all right. Bring two people. They tell you, get the fuck off the stage, don't they? They <laughs> pissed off. The motherfucker gave me the light. I just sat the fuck down. The light is on. <laughs> Shit, man. It took me 15 minutes to walk over there. <laughs> God damn. Can I get one more in? Go ahead, please. No, oh, fuck that. I'm gonna take my five minutes. Go home. No, no. Anyway, um, give me one. Anybody seen Shotgun Dick lately? What? <laughs> what? Exactly. You don't even know the vice president. Who the? Where the fuck is he at? <laughs> Shotgun dick fucking chain. <laughs> Only man I know shot a man in the face. Nobody fucking looked at. Him. That's true. I pull out a cat pistol. I'm looking at five to fucking ten. <laughs> well, I'm gonna take the fucking long walk back on over there. Goodbye. Oh. That was good. That was good. That was like. That was like. Oh my God, I'm sweating. That was like some old 1970s type of, see, you have to be born, you have to understand Richard Pryor, you know, those, like, back in those days to really get his delivery. That was good. That was good, man. I didn't expect him to be like that. That is, is that the same guy that was doing this? First time in the career of Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen, that he's hit the canvas. <laughs> is that the same? <laughs> look at, look at this. First time in the career of Kid Chocolate, Peter Quillen, that he's hit the canvas. Yo, yo, I must say, I must say, thank you, Steve Willis, for taking all of that and putting it in the squared circle, okay? And putting it in the ring. All right, thank you very much for making boxing so darn entertaining. You could have done this. This is a totally different character, kind of. You know, you real talented. Man. Dark, you're dark. <laughs> you know, but mentally, all right? Don't, mentally. But, um, yeah, you could have done this and been successful, man. Thank you for choosing boxing. That is, that was hilarious. That was hilarious, man. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sweating like, oh, my God. Showbiz the adult. Give me my interview, Steve. I'm out.